Okay, in W316, the way to turn on the computer in the cabinet, it's down here on the floor, and I, the power button is at the front. And I've uh, powered up and logged in. But I have it right now in um, duplicate mode. And to show you what that means is, I logged into the panel display by just touching it to sign in. You didn't have to put in a password. And then I'm going to turn on the front projector, which I normally would only use. But I'm also going to turn on the back projector. Um, because in this room, even though all the seats are pointed to the front, they still have a back projector that will show up in just a sec. And then when it shows up, you can see the same screen, which is PowerPoint in the edit mode that I see on my screen, both the back and the front. And there's also a camera by the door that can be, I'll show you in a minute how to focus that on the instructor or the students. But first, I want to present this um, in presentation mode. And I recommend using that because in this room they kind of insist upon it. So uh, in slideshow, make sure that this use presenter view is checked. And then go into the projector mode on the computer by holding down the window key and touching the letter P for projector. And you'll see that right now this little blue line says that I'm in the duplicate mode. Whatever I see on my screen, they're seeing on theirs. But I'm going to change that to the extended mode. And I'm going to bring back PowerPoint. Now that puts it actually on their screen. And I'm not sure why that is, but I'm going to move that. The way, I'm going to drag it um, from the title bar and bring it back onto my screen. And then from here, I'm going to go from the beginning. And that makes it that the screen that I have is, has the instructor mode, the current slide we're on, the next slide that we're going to be doing, or animation, and any notes that I have. Whereas on their slides, you can see that um, they can see what the presentation slide itself is. Now, um, I can actually show something even different on the other screen if I wanted to. And the way to do that is to go into advanced mode. And here is the, um, the back projector and the front projector. So let's say in the front projector, I want to continue to show what I see now, that PowerPoint. But let's say in the back projector, I'm going to show something different, like a DVD or something, or a different screen or a website. Then I hit the PC Monitor 3. And you'll notice in the back screen that it's just an empty uh, screen, a third screen. And so if I want to put something on there, I'm just going to uh, temporarily minimize my PowerPoint and I'm going to bring up the web and I'm going to drag it on the left side. The right side is the front screen, the left side is the back screen. So that's how that would work. Now if I wanted to use the camera for a video conference and I'm going to uh, drag this back, put it on the back screen, drag it, drag it back to my screen, and I'm going to start a video conference. Right now, the camera is pointing to students, which may be what I want. But if I want it to point to me, I'm going to go out of the advanced pr presentation, and I'm going to use the camera controls. And we already have a button to push it to the, the podium. And so the camera is now moving. And now it's focusing on me. Um, similarly, I could point it, I've got ones for the back whiteboard and the front whiteboard. Now I can zoom in and out or pan a little bit to the left or right uh, depending on what I want. But um, I'm just going to actually leave it on the back whiteboard. Now, this is assuming that I'm using the instructor 
PC. If I had my own laptop, I could um, log in with laptop HDMI using the HDMI cord. Um, the blue ray is what uh, I would use if I wanted to show a DVD, which is right here. Oh, and also uh, turn restore the the uh, screen to the default um, uh, window P, the default duplicate screen setting. And that's W three sixteen.